Um, what I'd like to do is to try to, to give a little bit of a background here, uh, a little bit like a, a DJ I once heard down in Baltimore, uh, Don Owens. I really uh, always appreciated hearing something that was behind the music so I could, the music could mean more to me. And uh, I'll try to do that for you here. Um, this is a serious music. It's one different kind, one certain kind of country music. There are many different kinds of country music. Uh, there's quite a few that you hear on the radio now. There's some that's old time, what we call old time, just an, a lonesome singer or a fiddle player or a banjo player. But this is the up-to-date kind of bluegrass music which is popular really all around the world at this point. And we have the man that largely created it. It always happened within his band. I have a few notes here that I'll have to rely on because I'm not too much of a lecturer here, but I, I do have this thing that I think I can help you with. Um, there was a time until about five years ago when you wouldn't hear this kind of music in a place like this. You'd hear mainly what is called serious music. Well, this is serious music, so I think it's very uh, fitting that we have it. But it's not serious Western European music. This is strictly an American music. Um, Bill Monroe is the creator of bluegrass music, as I said. And um, it happened roughly in 1945, but really it went before that. He comes from a, a um, proud West Kentucky family. And... Uh, he heard lots of different kinds of music as a child, gospel music, old-time fiddle music, some of the old gospels, and also uh, some of the, oh, just um, parlor music almost, uh, the sentimental songs, the songs that were in the vocal tradition, as well as the playing of a few of the black people in that area of West Kentucky. And these remain, these four elements remain the strongest in his music today. But what has happened is that he's made a unique mixture of them. Now, as any great artist, his uh, music has gone through a lot of phases. Of course, there's a time when he was just learning with his Uncle Penn down in Kentucky, or playing country dances with Arnold Schultz, a, a black guitar player uh, from near, nearby, and then playing with his brothers and then there were some of the records that he and his brother Charlie made uh, for the Bluebird record, uh, Recording Company back in the 30s. That was a distinct period of just mandolin and guitar. And then when he decided to form his own band in 39, there was a period of about five or six years when he was experimenting, making a few songs and instrumentals, and experimenting with different elements of country music that he wanted to have in a band so that he would have his own sound. Because, you see, that's part of the tear that's in bluegrass music, is that it has some of the old, but some of the new. And, in, and the genius is in what you choose to take out or, or create within that, that framework. Well, around 1945, a, a couple of musicians joined him. There was Chubby Wise, and then there was Lester Flat and Earl Scruggs. And they all created this music within Bill Monroe's band, which has become kind of a classic period of bluegrass. It was the first of that particular sound. And then, uh, a little bit later, there was Jimmy Martin. And uh, Bill then began making up a lot of his own songs, more of his own songs, into a very deep period uh, of bluegrass. This is a period of, uh, of a great number of songs about his home and his feelings about his home and uh, his family. Well, then there was a tragic accident in 1953, and then a, a certain amount of the, the fact of rock and roll and a slight decline of country music as a whole. And during this period, you might say that there was not as much output from the band. And um, it was in about the early 1960s when Bill really started making up a lot of fiddle tune on the mandolin, or a lot of mandolin tunes, instrumentals, if you'd like. And this period, extends up to the present, 1975. In fact, I heard five or, uh, three or four of them downstairs just before now to realize that Bill Monroe is still a very strong creative force and the original one in bluegrass music. Let's give him a warm, grand old opera welcome here. Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys.
of my childhood in the evening when everything was still. How you sit and listen to the fox sound with my dad in the old Kentucky hill. I'm on my right back to the old home. The road might turn up the hill. Well, there's the light in the window that shines on the world. Childhood days were over. I had to leave my home. For dad and mother was called heaven. I was out in this world all alone. of old Kentucky stands upon a spot in my memory. I'm on my way back to the old home, the light in the one I long to see. I'm on my way back to the old home. Howdy, folks, howdy. We're glad to be in Wilmington, Delaware with you folks. I really love this country up here, and we've got a lot of fans and friends here, and it's a pleasure to be here. I'd like to introduce the group before we go any further here and let you know them in what state they're from. With the, on, with the guitar here from the state of North Carolina, we have a good guitar man and a fine singer. His name is Ralph Lewis. Give him a hand, please. And with the bass fiddle, we have another Tar Heel, and he's a great bass man. His name is Randy Davis. Give Randy a hand. <laughs> now, with the five-string banjo from the state of Iowa, we have a fine banjo picker here. I want you to li listen to him and watch him play these old-time fiddle numbers here tonight along with Kenny Baker. His name is Bob Black. Make him welcome, please. And this gentleman here helps me represent the state of Kentucky. He plays a great part in bluegrass music, and especially with the bluegrass boys. Whatever I sing, he can play. His name is Kenny Baker. Make him welcome here tonight, please. <laughs> this really seemed like the Grand Ole Opera House there in Nashville, Tennessee, and it's, you know, we've been out this new place a long time now, but there's still a lot of fond memory there at the Grand Ole Opera House in Nashville, Tennessee. And this, uh, this auditorium here really looks like that place there in Nashville, the Grand Ole Opera House. And I hope you know that they'll never tear the Grand Ole Opera down there in Nashville, and they, Wilmington needs places like this here, too. This should stand here all the way. We, uh, <laughs> now, if we play a number and you like it, we'd appreciate a hand from you. We're going to call on Ralph. He's the first man up here. And he's doing a number entitled, A Roustabout. And a little mustache, well, I make my home on the Mississippi. I'm roustabout on the steamboat line. We hit the deck on a Monday morning. But we break the dock on Saturday night. Please don't bury me in the cold, cold ground Just take me out in the middle of the river Just roll me over and head me south Well, I'll make my home on the Mississippi I'm roused about on the steamboat line We hit the deck on a Monday morning But we make the dock on Saturday night We make the dock on Saturday night
Are you going to make Ralph awful proud of himself here in Wilmington? Thank you. Now we're going to call on Bob Black here for our good banjo number. And this is a number that I wrote many years ago, and all the banjo pickers in here have played this number. It's called the Bluegrass Breakdown. All right, thank you very much. This is the spot in our show where I have to try to sing a couple of songs, and uh, I've got two here that I haven't rehearsed much, and I'd like to sing them for you here tonight. See if you have ever heard them and uh, will like them and remember
A darling ain't put the hey, hi, hi. My little woman in town every Saturday night, she's on my little You're the lady. I would lay. You bring that water around right. If you don't like a job Set your water bucket You're the lady Let's see now the other number. I'll tell you the title of it. It's called I Traced a Little Footprints in Snow. Some folks like the summertime and they can walk about. Strolling through the meadow green, it's pleasant, there's no doubt. Forgive me the winter time when the snow is on the ground. Part I found her when the snow lit on the ground. I traced a little footprints in the snow. I found a little footprints in the snow. Oh, I'm blessed that a happy day that many lost to wait. For I found there when the snow lit on the ground. To see her, there was a big round moon Her mother said she just stepped out But it'd be returning soon I found her little footprints And I traced them through the snow And I found her when the snow lit on the ground I traced a little footprints in the snow I found a little footprints in the snow Lord, I blessed had a happy day That many lost to waste for I found there when the snow lit on the ground Now she's up in heaven, she's with the angel band I know I'm going to meet her in that promised land but every time the snow falls, it rings a back memory For I found her when the snow laid on the ground I traced a little footprints in the snow I found a little footprints in the snow oh, I blessed that a happy day And you lost two way For I found her when the snow laid on the ground I promised a lady that we would sing A Good Woman's Love.
It's entitled Kentucky Man.
Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to play one more mandolin number here. I want to do this for Mike Seeger, the man who come out here and give us the introduction tonight. And we uh, really uh, appreciate that a lot, the way he praised the bluegrass music and everything. And he's a really good friend of mine, him and his wife. And we're glad to have him here tonight. This is a mandolin that they gave me when I was over in Japan. And uh, I'd like to play it for you tonight. It, I'd like to do the number entitled Get Up John. And I haven't played this in a while, but I'll, I hope that you'll enjoy it. Thank you, thank you. That number's called Get Up, John, and I hope you enjoyed it here tonight. It's time now for the Bluegrass Quartet to sing, and we would like to sing a song for you tonight that we feature a lot. It's entitled, I'm a Working on a Building. If I was a gambler, I'd tell you what I would do. I'd quit my gambling and I'd work on the building too. I'm working on the building, 
building. I'm working on a building. I'm working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord. It's Holy Ghost building. It's Holy Ghost building. It's Holy Ghost building for my Lord, for my Lord. If I was a drunkard, I'd tell you what I would do. I'd quit my drinking and I'd work on the building too. I'm working on a building, I'm working on a building. I'm working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord. It's Holy Ghost building, it's Holy Ghost building. It's Holy Ghost building for my Lord, for my Lord. I'd tell you what I would do I'd keep on preaching and I'd work on the building too I'm working on a building, I'm working on a building I'm working on a building for my Lord, for my Lord It's Holy Ghost building, it's Holy Ghost building It's Holy Ghost building for my Lord, for my Lord building and it's time right now that we was calling on Kenny Baker and he's ready to fiddle for you folks tonight there's not a man in the country can beat him playing these old time fiddle numbers the way that he plays them the number he's picked out is called the Gray Eagle <laughs> Thank you. 
Kenny, you're doing all right up here. You're a lot of your friends is here, ain't they? Well, he's glad to hear that because Kenny has his albums here tonight. You got a chance to get one of them. And he wanted me to be sure and to tell you that. He's got his albums here. And uh, Ralph's got some albums, too. And a little later on, we're going to take a break and, uh, and give you a chance to get an album while we're up here. And uh, we bring a few along with us. Well, I believe we might have the Grand Ole Opera history book, you can't tell. But we'll have a little something to sell right along there. But Kenny and uh, Ralph is the fellas that's wanting to sell some. Now, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Let's do a number called Uncle Pen. Would you accept that? Break of day when they called her a holler, do she do? You knew Uncle Pin was ready to go. Hey, in a bat's and how to hear in a bug town. Uncle Pin played a fiddle on how to ring if you had talk, you could hear it sing. Played an old piece called Soldier Joy and one he called Boston Boy. The greatest of all was Jenny Lynn. To me, that's where feeling began. Get that morning for day, when Uncle Pin was called away. They hung up his fiddle, they hung up his bow, they knew it was time for him to go.
We have time for, I believe, two more songs before we take the break. We want to do a number entitled The Old Old House. on this song, and it's entitled Never Again. We've been featured on the Grand Ole Opry quite a bit, and Ralph takes care of the verses on it, then I help him on the course. And Randy, you sang on this song with... Okay, fine. And the way they used to gaze into mine The moon up above brings back memories of love I thought was true and so divine So never again, never no more Never again will I knock upon your door Never again but these words I can say I find a true love and stay out of the way Thank you, thank you very much. 
We're going to take a little break now and give you a chance. Like I said, if you want a souvenir of the Bluegrass Boys, you're going to have a chance to get there. Be on sale right along the edge of the stage here. And Kenny will be out here at Autograph. And so will Ralph and the rest of the Bluegrass Boys and me. And uh, so you come right on down if you want to talk to the boys, shake hands with them. Well, wow, they'd be glad to do that. You know, we play a lot up here. We've been putting on festivals here in, in Delaware, and I've enjoyed it a lot. And uh, I think that's wonderful to be brought up here to this state, uh, uh, Bluegrass Festival. And I hope that you folks enjoy it when we come up here. I, I, you know, I'd like to come back here again sometime, and it's probably up to you folks and, and the men's people putting it on here if we get to come back. But you, you folks play a great part in it. And I notice where Ralph Stanley's going to be coming up here. Be sure that you come out to his show because he's got a wonderful show and he's a fine man. And he'll really appreciate it and he'll play the way that you want him to play for you. So we're going to take a little break. We'll be right back on the stage just in a minute. Thank you. First and foremost is uh, the house here. They're involved in, in refurbishing and... Uh, and putting the place back in its more like its original condition. And this is a really fine place with good acoustics. There aren't many places like this. And uh, believe me, folks, uh, I've played in so many places, I really get thankful for places like this that sound good and look nice, that we all can come to and we can play our music and listen to other people's music and so forth. So they do need some financial help here, folks. How are we doing? I don't know, have you, how many of you ever heard uh, uh, Heavy Traffic Ahead? Let me see, Bill Monroe's recording, Heavy Traffic Ahead. Well, you ought to, we ought to figure out a way. He made a, a record back uh, about 20 or 25 years ago uh, as he was on way to a show date. And they said, oh my gosh, there's Heavy Traffic Ahead. And they made it into a, a tune where each one of them plays a little lick on one of the instruments and then talk about this happening of bluegrass. And in one line it says, the bluegrass boys are never late, and it's true. Here's Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys. Thank you so much for buying the album. We appreciate that. And when we get through tonight, we're going to do some more right here on the stage, so you come on down that we missed, and we'll take care of it. We're going to start now with a number entitled Love Come Home. Love, love, 
All right, now we're going to call on Ralph again, make him sing another solo for you here. And it's entitled Truck Driving Man. I stopped in a roadhouse in Texas, a little place called Hamburger Dam. I heard that old jukebox playing a song by the truck driver man. Pour me another cup of coffee, for it is best in the land. I put a quarter in the jukebox and play that truck driving man. I think you're in color back again. I said that old song sure does fit you. Cause I'm a truck driving man. Pour me another cup of coffee. For it is best in the land. I put a quarter of in the jukebox and play the truck driving man. I got them old truck wheels and rolling. Now I'm on my way to Santa Tom. Pour me in a cup of coffee, for it is best in the land. I put water in the jukebox and play the truck driving play. And play the truck driving play. Now, we had a request for you to uh, play one with uh, Banjo Bob, and uh, I believe it, let's see, might have been Reno's number or, or Earl Scruggs. They're two people just starting us with a banjo player. And uh, let's, no, it's not the Dixie Breakdown. It's Chuck in the Corner, something like that. Do you know that? Yeah, I believe that's it.
Now, he's great when he tries. All right, now we have a song coming up on the program here that I hope you'll enjoy called Blue Moon Over Kentucky. Promised the gentleman that we would make Kenny play this number. It's entitled Listen to the Malkinbird. Lord, you'll never get over this.
I've been trying to get him to play that number there. And he said the folks wouldn't like it. They do like it. I say we make him play another one. What do you say about that? He told us if we ever got him up here, he'd really sell, and he's doing that very thing. <laughs> the Orange Blossom special, he's had requests for it. Keep him on the payroll for nothing now, I promise you that. He's a good car driver and a good fiddler. If you uh, had a chance, or if we would let you request some numbers, what would they be? Kentucky Walls. Yes, ma'am. It's getting hot on a high decker pistol up here. <laughs>
much more for your embrace in that beautiful Kentucky wall. Thank you. We had some more requests, but uh, they slipped my mind, some of them. If you call them out again. The girl in the blue of Everett Van, uh, the Brown County Prison, Marlington Brooks, the girl in the blue of Everett Van. Let's do a couple, three verses of that. One night fell out for her to ramble The air was just about nine I met a young maiden in Frisco On the corner of Cherry and Pine On her face there was beauty of nature And so brilliant into one in the blue velvet band. We strolled down the street together. In my pocket, she placed her small hand. She planted the evidence on me. The girl in the blue. And the girl in the blue velvet boots She let me to face all the trouble For a diamond that was worth ten grand in tin ropes. Tinder. 
Timbrook to find. Old Timbrook to find. Old Lord, old Timbrook to find. Oh, you understand, little Maggie, with a dram glass in her hand. She's passing away her trouble, like courting another man. At last she was only flirty, she was only a playing her part. It's only a man like bloody, just only a broken heart. Oh, you ought to been uptown and see the train come down. Hear the whistle blow a hundred miles. I'm gonna hear the train all on Sunday blow. She blow like she never blow no more. Way down in the Blue Ridge Mountain. Way down. Lives my sweetheart on the mountain She's my little Georgia Rose Now come in and listen to my story A story that I know is true A little road went down to Georgia With hair of gold and a heart to prove Way down in the bridge mountain Way down by the top of the gold Little my sweetheart on the mountain She's my little Georgia Rose She bloomed for me in her little village In a cabin on the hill We made our vows, we love each other And I know we always do She's my rose, oh Kentucky I watch the bloom and it will burn And if there will never be another I'll never tell the day I die McKinley, I hollered, McKinley Squall, Lord Dom said, McKinley, I can't find the cause You're bound to die, you're bound to die Doc told the horse, he threw down the rain He said to the horse, you got to outrun the train To Buffalo, to Washington He's taking you to rest. He's gone all the time. Ruby, I'm sorry, that's one of the Osborne Brothers songs, and we don't do sing that. You'll find her name written there, I promise you that I'll do that. No more, no more, she'll walk this earth. Her face like a beautiful flower. But all along, there's a marble stone. You'll find 
find her name written there. in my sweet baby's arms. Money 
Rowan County Prison. Kenny, we had a lot of requests for that. Well, Mark's to get ready over here. What's the fish now? Way back in the hills, wasn't it? Captured and tried in the village of Kingston. Not a man in that county would speak one kind word. When the jury came in with the verdict next morning, her lifetime in prison was the words that I heard When the train pulled out Poor mother stood weeping And sister she said All alone with the sun And the last words I heard Was will he God bless you was Willie, God bless you, God bless you, goodbye. Put my little shoes away. Like folks have to work tomorrow. Right? Y'all have to work, don't you?
Now come and bathe my forehead, mother For I'm growing very weak I'll add one drop of water, mother Fall upon my burning cheek You will do this, won't you, mother Get them on my toys, but mother, put my little shoes away. Send the clothes you brought them to me with a lot of other things. And I thought he brought an angel with a pair of golden wings. You will do this for you. Toys, but mother, put my little shoes away. <laughs> what is it? Raw hide and salty dog, and what else? Too many holler at the same time. Let me hear it. What? Go rush. Go rush. That's what I've been trying to hear there. Can you give them a little bit of the go rush? I thought they'd never ask me, Chief.
From the great Atlantic Ocean to the wide Pacific shore From the Queen of Fohan Mountain to the South Bill by the Moor She's mighty tall and handsome and all well ball She's a combination on the wall base cannonball I listen to the jingle, the rumble and the roar As she glides along the woodland to the hill and by the shore Hear the mighty rush of the angel and the lonesome old bull's while traveling through the jungle on the Wallabash Cannonball. She came down to Birmingham one cold December day As she pulled into the station you could hear all the people say There's a gal from Tennessee, she's long and she's tall And she came down to Birmingham on the wall base cannonball Our Easter say it's that's what the people always say From New York to St. Louis and Chicago by the way From the hills of Minnesota where the rippling waters flow no changes can be taken on the wall base cannonball. Now here's to Daddy Claxton, may his name forever stand, and always be remembered in the court throughout the land. His earth race it over and the curtains around him fall. We'll carry him home to victory on the wall base cannonball. I'll listen to the jingle, the rumble, and the roar as she glides along the woodland to the hill end by the shore. Hear the mighty rush of the angel and the lonesome hobo squall while traveling through the jungle on the wall base cannonball. Thank you, thank you so much. Let me see now, what is that? I, we, we probably will do a little number for you called Rawhide. But before we do, we want to talk to you a little bit, tell you we have really enjoyed being here with you tonight, and hope that you've enjoyed our, our show that we brought. And don't forget us on the Grand Ole Opry. If you're ever down that part of the country, come out and see us. We'd be glad to have you. And uh, Ralph, would you like to say a few words to the folks before we leave? Uh, this is the second time uh, in uh, this great state, and I'm, I've enjoyed it, uh, really enjoyed picking for you folks tonight. Thank you. Randy Davis. You've been a wonderful crowd tonight and very responsive um, to the music we've done, and we do appreciate your um, good response, and if, if we're ever up in this part of the country, please come back and see us again. Thank you. All right. All right. This is the first time I've ever been in the state of Delaware, and I'm quite a ways from home, and I come, I come from Iowa, as you know, and I really enjoyed it, and the people are really nice here, and thanks a lot. Kenny Baker. Now, you see, I played here in Delaware many a time. You can tell by all the applause and things I've got. I've got a lot of friends out there. I really appreciate him. Thank you very much. Now, I want to call a fellow out that's really been a good friend of mine. We played a mini show uh, all over the country together. And uh, back when we was playing a lot of folk festivals all over the country, we worked together. And he's a fine man. And it's always good to see him and good to see his wife along. And like, let's give him another nice hand here tonight. Mike Seeger, what do you say? Make him welcome again. Mike? Let's bring out the man that helped bring us up here, that got us up here. What do okay. you say? Carl Goldstein, come Carl on. Carl Goldstein, give him a hand. <laughs> Carl, we appreciate this a lot. And let, let us come back again sometime, please. We'll try to. We enjoyed it very much. Thank and well, I was awful glad to have you down at the Grand Ole Opry. I enjoyed it. Come back and see us again.
Now for the little number called Rawhide. I never played to a better audience. You're wonderful. Thank you so much, you really wonderful audience. And I do hope that you like that little number, Roll Hyde. We'd like to do one more for you called John Henry the Steel Driver Man. Farewell, son gonna be used to driving man, Lord, Lord, son gonna be used to driving man. John Henry went up on the mountain, looked down on the other side. He laid down his hammer and he cried, Lord, Lord, laid down his hammer and he cried. John Henry told his captain, I want to go to bed. Fix me a planet, I want to lay down.
Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, if I would sing one, would you sing with me a verse in the chorus of song? Let's do Swing Low Sweet Charity, everybody. What do you say? Will you help me with it? Now, we'll start with the chorus after Kenny gives us the introduction. I want all of you to sing. Yeah, we better hear you, too. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. I looked over Jordan and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. Saw a band of angels coming after me. Coming for to carry me home, everybody. Swing low, sweet cherry on. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet cherry on. Coming for to carry me home. Put your hands together, everybody. Now if you get there before I do Coming for to carry me home Tell all of my friends that I'm a coming to Coming for to carry me home Let's sing! Swing low, sweet cherry Coming for to carry me home Swing low, sweet cherry Coming for to carry me home I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. Let's all stand and sing. What do you say? Come on. Some glad morning when his life is over, I'll fly away. And on God's left you show I'll fly away I'll fly away Oh glory I'll fly away When I die Hallelujah by and by I'll fly away I saw the light I saw the light No more in darkness No more in night now I'm so happy, no sorrow in time. Praise the Lord, I'll find the light. I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll 